Hello my soccer nerds and welcome to part 5 of this year's Champions League jersey review. I'm shooting this right after the first legs of the round of 16, so a little bit of rearrangement up there. Uh, certain teams, like this one, moved way down. Liverpool, I decided to put the white one up to kind of not have too much red up there, but then you get the white portion here as well. This group here uh, was probably the least exciting of them all. The one that was most clear from the get-go in many ways, I have to say. And, you know, not, not that many big names in there, nominal big names in there either. Although a six-time Europa League winner and a Champions League winner and multiple time other cup winners too. But still, uh, did not hold my attention as much. But yeah, we looked already at the jerseys of three teams in this one, which makes my job now a little bit easier. And most of these were also used in the um, league and in the Champions League. So, you know, a lot of double duty, which is not all that bad as well. So let's get started. I again do it in reverse order of how the group finished, which means we'll start in France. We start Rennes, uh, the team that yeah <laughs> was a little bit out of sorts here, although they were always hanging in there. I said in my Liga jersey review, the um, home jersey with this uh, pattern, which I think is also a mosaic pattern of a local artist. I have to say I really like this one. Uh, I know it could be too much, but I think here it just works. Crafted by Culture here works really, really well. Of course, in the Champions League, the sponsor is a whole lot smaller. You cannot have such a huge sponsor. But this was a really nice one. Nine stars. Sticking with that. Um, the away jersey, yeah, the silvery gray red with all the slivers, full color crest looks all right, but uh, nothing that excites me overall. But it is a usable home jersey, and I think for the full color crest, I'm going with six instead of five. And then the, th the third jersey, which I don't think they have worn in the Champions League, I'm not sure now. Uh, is this classic Puma tan tablet, which is a little bit too black for me. I mean, for a club that is mainly red, I think. I'd rather would prefer black and then have everything and have everything that's white here pop in red. I think that I would actually like a lot here. It kind of loses a little bit of the club's identity. Yes, it's a third jersey, you can do a few more special things, but um, yeah. I actually wanna go one lower than what, what I did in the League Earned Jersey Reunion and give this only five stars. Same template we have for Krasnodar, the nominal home jersey. And with Krasnodar, I was really confused this season because they did not use this all that often. But this is uh, at least from what I know the home jersey and is what I would expect from Krasnodar. Yes, we cannot expect much because Krasnodar is a relatively new team, but uh, green, we have the template in there, uh, full color crest. I mean, it's basically take a template, slap the crest down, and then a sponsor that doesn't fit with the color because the color black is all right. I'm more worried about the orange dot. Uh, is it great? No. Is it exciting? No. Is it bad? No, not e e it as well. I think six stars is very uh, appropriate here. Uh, for the away jersey, same thing in white. I actually like how the crest pops a little bit more uh, uh, this way, but you know, uh, maybe too much. If the dot in the sponsor was green, I would go higher, but you know, it also does not deserve more than, uh, yeah. I give six stars. Then the one that I really do not understand is the third jersey. It has been used in the Champions League qualification and, and in the Champions League. Goes the Ren route in many ways that it just is black. However, why do we have the neon accents? If these were like a more green and not a yellow, I think I would uh, understand it a little bit more. But uh, we saw this a few times and it just confused the heck out of me. Uh, then also paired with the socks of the same car color, it just didn't look all that right to me and I have to say it, here the sponsor is really jarring you have this neon sponsor then you have the orange dot uh, kind of you don't know where to really look at for that reason I guess the colors I can somewhat see but it's not a great I have to say this is a four star for me and that was the team that we haven't talked about so we go to the seeded team however they only ended up being in second place in this group which is Sevilla, the defending Europa League champions. And I don't know if you could make out the Sevilla jersey uh, on the wall back there that I have hanging. There is one here on the side. It is um, here. 
that's the Sevilla jersey, but you know, a whole lot of white there. And I'm wearing white Chelsea, we'll talk about that in a little bit. Sevilla, for a big team that won 6 in the Europa League, uh, Nike went all out and handed them a uh, team wear shirt. Pff, how disappointing. And I have to say, I went to won the Europa League, I wanted to get, I said, told you already in the La Liga jersey review, I wanted to get a Sevilla jersey. And although I was not so sold on the last season one, when I saw this one, I said, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Better get this one. I have to say it's growing on me. It's growing on me. But when I first saw it, I really didn't like it all that, that much. Uh, the Valvoline sponsor should not be on there. Uh, it's a simple template. But I have to say, um, I never liked that color all that much. And this, it leaves me wanting. I gave it five stars in my La Liga jersey review. I think I'm going to raise it to six, but it doesn't really deserve more. The red one is much better because the sponsor is in one color and also the Valvoline is just in white. Uh, makes a whole lot better look. I like actually the red with, with, with the white. I, in a way, I wish this was Sevilla's first team look in many ways because it is a much stronger look. And just when I look at the Sevilla crest, a striped jersey would make so much sense. No, no, they were white with black socks. Go figure. Um, it looks better. But I think uh, I cannot give it more than six stars. And the third jersey tries to uh, appeal to me with my favorite color in dark blue. Yes, I like it. I like the red. But then uh, the Valvoline is completely drawing my attention off. I actually would have understood this jersey a little bit more with a white sponsor tool, to be honest. Um, and maybe even the swoosh in white. I think it would have given more character and would also... the. Severe crest on this one looks a little bit lost. However, the colors are pleasing, so I'm not gonna be harsh. I will stick with the six stars. Sevilla uh, with all six is meaning a very, very average look, which is definitely something we cannot say about Chelsea. I have said in the Premier League jersey, jersey review, I do not like this year's Chelsea's jerseys. This kind of steel plate effect that they wanna put over does not jive with me. I don't have much problem with the sponsor. Yes, the three is maybe ugly, maybe it would look nicer with if they would use the modern word mark, but I'm fine. I mean, a number in front of a jersey, I think that's what it reminds me of. It really doesn't bother me all that much. I'm more bothered by the black or dark blue accents and this steel plate pattern on there. It just doesn't look Chelsea to me. I think for Chelsea one, I've a uh, blue jersey with a little uh, touch of white, not black. For that reason, four stars. And, you know, the away jersey. I was wondering when I just, just put this on, this white jersey is my Chelsea away jersey that, that I have. And when I bought it, I thought, yeah, white is a proper Chelsea away color. And I'm thinking, is it really? How would my Chelsea away jersey look like? I actually, if you would ask, ask me, I probably would go for a yellow look. Lab, lab, no, I mean white is okay, but I think yellow would be uh, nicer. Definitely not that. The only thing I can say in favor of this one, they're still playing in blue. But how you try to put the same metal plate effect in there, you kind of go Manchester City colors, then again with the black, and then, you know, don't scare because I'm weird color. All the specks flying around. I mean, they're even intersecting with the sponsor, which confuses me a whole lot. And then the lifeless crest. No, this is not a good jersey. I'm sorry, I wanna raise here the grade also. I gave it three stars, I think four stars is all right, but it, I don't like this Chelsea set and it doesn't get better with the third. That is an ab abomination of the first degree. And when you see the match, it is even worse. I think here in the picture, it looks ac 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 actually decent. A, if Crystal Palace would come out with that, I think everyone would be all right. Chelsea, no, heck no, absolutely not. <laughs> I know they want to appeal to, uh, I, I think, a jersey from the 90s, but no. And then the gradient on the sleeve, so you have a little bit blue, you have a little bit pinkish salmon color, and then you have a gradient in purple in there. It's, it's an abomination, and it does... Nah. Nah. If this was blue and yellow, I think I could like it a whole lot, but just the choice of color here is no. It's an absolute no. So yeah, uh, I gave this one star. I'm gonna stick with that one. Yeah, that ends this video. Um, we started out well, and then it kind of gradually went down. Uh, so that's at least for me. I would like to know your opinion on these jerseys. Um, 
whether you think I'm completely off or whether you agree with my opinion. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Uh, subscribe to my channel for some more videos like this and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.